to Bear Lake. And the last time we were here, this road was dirt and all ripped up and washboardy. Now it's paved. It's amazing and awesome. But I remember this now. Terry had to remind me. But this was all dirt road and it was kind of hard to drive. You had to drive really slow down this road. Wow, what an improvement. Look at the lake. It's freaking beautiful. It's so blue. And so big. No, I don't remember, but you know, you would see Bruce's big bus. Oh wait, there they are up ahead. I see um, Jennifer and Jason's rig. We've made it. So we're checking out some camping. That looks like a nice camp spot right there. Look at the trees. That's awesome. We've actually camped in this area before, or I have, with Terry and Scott and the family and everything. But, oh, there's more camping. Okay. It's kind of rough back here. We usually just camped up front. It's nice. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> At least I can get my formula out. But it's dusty, yeah. Oh, even that camp spot, because I remember four-wheelers being on this road. Or side-by-sides, so I can get a yeah, bit my, dusty. My, my shows the road ending here. <laughs> we came up, we're on 89A, right? We came up 89. through, or 89, sorry. And we, and we um, are coming through the mountain to go to Logan from Bear Lake. So this is where we actually had camped right at the beginning because it's less dusty than the road and they're actually grading it and leveling it right now. All the wildflowers anyways it says no camping either in a um, tent or RV and no fire so what do they do here oh they sell wood in here it's a timber project oh it's a timber project oh they're gonna harvest oh, some of the wood oh well timber. that's over with yeah. 2020 it's an old sign I think these so that says Beaver Creek Watershed Improvement Project. Beaver Creek is a major tributary, it's hard to read, the, of the Logan River. Oh, okay. Oh, that's neat. I wonder if there's beavers in there. I'm sure if it's called Beaver Creek, you would think there's beavers. It's really pretty through here. Oh my god, look how pretty this is. The hillsides are green. Wildflowers everywhere. It's just so green and lush here. 
Oh, there's a camping spot right there. Looks like it. There's no signs marking no camping. Yeah, there's a fire pit. Oh, there's a fire pit. Okay, cool. Look at all the pretty flowers. That's awesome. This one is actually marked site closed for the watershed protection. So there's no camping here. It seems to be mainly on this side of the road. The other side must be fine. Because this is where the, um, the creek runs through. This is camping available along Sink Hollow Road. So what we're trying to do is just scope out the place. Oh my God, look at my... Look at the stream, that's beautiful. Okay, so like I was saying, we are just trying to scope out a few places. There are tons of places to camp here in the past, but we can't um, try to find them all. We're gonna come up here and camp, but we're headed to Salt Lake City today because we have um, some errands to run and it's about two hours away, so we can't spend all day doing this. We gotta go to Salt Lake City, then come back, and I'm gonna um, probably come camp up here in the next day or two, and then I can, um, I guess we can go looking some more for the next spot. But we know of two spots now that they're, and I have them marked on my map. Yeah, this is a nice spot, but someone's in it. Here's the spot, but like I said, someone's already in it. We're just turning around. So there's probably more camping as you continue on and stuff too. And the road's not that bad. Oh yeah, look at the logs. Beaver Dam. Beaver Dam. No snowmobiles. There's the river right there. And we found another camp spot. We're gonna check real quick since it's right off the road. Wooden bridge. Uh, but there are fifth wheels back here, so your bus and my rig should definitely come back here. November 15th, it closes. So this is free? Uh, I guess so. I don't see any um, paid sites thing. There's normally, it'll have... Oh, this yeah, is big there, enough. There was a sign back there we missed. Right up oh, the there was? Okay. Something camping. I don't know whether it said no camping. Or okay, I'll something. look at it when we go back. Obviously, it's not no camping. So there's, I mean, there's spaces. There's yeah. plenty of spaces. They've closed this area. That's pretty through there. We found another road off of that same campground. Oh yeah, there's more camping right there. So it seems like there's plenty of camping through here. It must have been a hiking trail, but it's closed now. Hmm. No vehicle, no motor vehicles. So yeah, maybe it is just new. Maybe they're working on it. Oh, they could be working on it. Nice. Goes up into the mountains. Right here on this post. This says no fireworks. Oh, no fireworks. Look how pretty that is. There's the river. All right, we're gonna continue on.
trees. I mean, I fit in here with my rig, but it was 22 foot. Now that I have a newer rig, it's a little taller. Plus, you have a bus. Welcome to twenty dollars. Is it twenty bucks here too? Oh, they gone up. I thought I thought it was cheaper than that. Maybe it was twenty bucks. Okay, well we can still drive through. It's a it's really pretty. Let me show you. It's right by the river too. I mean, you can get a camp spot, but it seems kind of full through here a little bit. Yeah, it's right by the river, but it is packed in here, and this is. Yeah, I guess it's not made for larger vehicles. I think that's where we, no, where did we camp? Yeah, we camped, I think, here, at this one over here. Yep, someone's there, right by the river. It was awesome. We went to the Best Buy in Logan and they didn't have it in stock, but they called and the town close to Salt Lake City had the, um, the GoPro thing that I needed. So I'll show you when I get in the car. Well, we're gonna be heading back, but we went ahead and stopped at a restaurant so they could use the restroom and they're gonna grab us some teas uh, for the ride back. I also have to stop by and grab some supplies at Walmart but that'll be boring, so I won't show you all that. I'm gonna go ahead and install this. I'm really excited about this and adding the wind muff. Uh, the microphone's back at my rig, so I won't be able to put that on now, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put the case on. All right, well, the Media Mod is installed. It does have a um, built-in microphone, which is much larger than the one that's on the camera, so I don't know if the sound's gonna be better. But when I get back, I am going to put my external mic on because I know that sound is really nice and loud and clear. So with no wind noise, this does not have a wind protection, but it is a bigger microphone. So hopefully this will work out better. I can't wait to get the other add-on, which is the extra screen, but they were sold out. So I'll have to wait on that. We're at the top of the peak up here. We're almost back. We just have to go down the hill there. So beautiful in here. Look at all the wildflowers all along the hillside. So, uh, now it's not packed. Yeah. <laughs> our new camp we've been here for several days it wasn't this busy when we first got here it's basically empty but since the weekend came along it started to fill out this it gets worse back there at the um, on the other side is really bad it's full they're like cramming into these spots look how many rigs i mean that's like one spot there's like five cars and then look at all this right here it's just it's packed it's crazy it's just the craziness Look at, there's like one, two, three, four RVs in that spot. This is not too bad right there. And then it gets crazy again up here. I think there's like about five, six tents in one spot. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six in that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's a lot of tents. It's crazy. Yeah, they, they do charge you for each vehicle. Oh, you can see the muff. They just pulled on the side of the road there. It's not like they're not getting their money at the campground because it doesn't matter. Um, they don't charge you by the camp spot. They charge you by the car. So you can fit as many as you want into one camping spot. And they do pack it out there.
top of the hill up there. That's crazy. Oh, there's a road right there. That's crazy still on the cliff. I would not want to be on the cliff. We're heading into, what's the name of the town? Garden City. We used to have a Garden City. I don't know why I can't remember the name. So we had a Garden City back in um, South Carolina, right on the shore. But yeah, we're gonna go get some, something sweet, like ice cream or something. It's a beautiful time of the day. Oh, ATV trail. busy in town <laughs> oh yeah there's la line what is it called bob lebos lebos okay it's busy too cafe late cafe i think it ends up here there's not much more up here this is where it kind of ends oh there's marlon's driving the best <laughs> food made fresh lots of options yes so, do you want to try that spot? Or... Okay, is this good? Yeah, this is good. We can just go here. Merlin's Drive-In. The best food made fresh. Okay. We decided on... Oh, look at the bowl on top and the bear out there. Yeah. Look at all the money on the ceiling. <laughs> so, here's their menu. Look, they have steak and things. I wonder what things are. Probably gonna get the double cheeseburger. These are the house rules. No fussing, no fighting, no whining, no back talking. Because nice matters. So I ended up getting the double cheeseburger. Some tater tots. Yeah, it's a nice size burger. And the raspberry Kit Kat shake. Those are thick. How's yours? Just raspberry, it's good. So we decided to come outside. It's much cooler. And also, Mumu can be here. No, get over here. Get There's still a lot of traffic going by. It's pretty busy still. Well, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe down below. Don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified whenever I put a new video out. I want to thank y'all for hanging out with me. Hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe and onward bound. Love you guys out there.
Good night.